All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. We're going to do a story uh, sent to me by my good friend John Crump, John Crump News. I'm going to put his uh, link down below. Yes, also, tonight uh, I will be on the Who Stole My uh, oh, thing, what it is, with Hank Strange. Lola and Hank Strange. I'll be on there at 6.30 tonight. I hope you guys will join us. That'd be really cool if you do. Uh, they're going to ask me what I have been up to uh lately because i'm not doing a whole lot of shooting but we're getting ready to so i'm excited but anyway uh camp sound campsite down below we got a couple good cool deals facts and firearms got uh pencil neck barrel 139.99 that usually regularly sells for 170 and we got the uh, sig Romy msr green dot 89 dollars okay check that down below and uh, we'll go from there all right let's talk about this so atf uh against justin irvin okay and youtube star matt hoover really really john matt uh, YouTube star. So anyway, now nah, Matt's a pretty neat guy. Uh, I remember a long time he did a really uh, unique video about myself and a bunch of my friends. Um, but who cares? But uh, I've uh, texted him going back and forth with him, and he's a really, really neat guy. I just hate that he got caught up in this. And ATF is really struggling to put something together. John Crump is actually uh, covering the highlights of the trial right now. Uh, currently, as of today, the 12th, they're in day three. And uh, it appears like they're just struggling. They're just throwing stuff out there that's out there. And in hopes, I guess, that the, the jury will... Uh, find that you know they did something wrong and it's it's almost like okay they put stuff in the mail so we got mail fraud it's anything and everything they can do to get that uh conviction okay so i'm going to read this to you it's pretty cool this is by the way of john crump by the way all right so justin Irvin and the youtube star matt hoover and it's not really a laughing matter because this is the atf against everybody better known as crs firearms or on a trial for selling a metal card. And you know what the deal is. They got the auto key card. Um, you know, they send it to these people. Uh, Matt did videos, okay, as we all do. So somebody like Primary Arms, they send something out to me and I do a video on it. They are saying that Matt Hoover pretty much was acting as a distributor of what they deemed at one point in time a, a machine gun. So uh, I would like to say we're going to talk about this a little bit, but the uh, and I got some got I have some things. This, uh, so in the auto key key card case, the government argues that the item is a machine gun because it has what is alleged is a stencil. The ATF's own criminal examination letter seems to disagree with that. Okay, so let's read that. And this comes from the guys over there, Ed Gunner's Owners of America, my favorite institution for your Second Amendment rights. Okay, so second, the second letter, okay, and I'm jumping around here, okay. Uh, the second letter that the GOA gave Ammo Land uh, News shows the ATF's Firearm and Ammunition Detect Technology Division, Fat D, <laughs> doesn't consider a lightning link to be a machine gun unless both parts are present. So uh, a lighting, lightning link consists of two parts. The letter shows the more significant portion of the item ha was examined. If both parts must be present and formed to correct size, as the ATF stated in the previous documents, how can the federal government charge the two men from selling with selling machine guns? Well, it's what we define as machine guns today. It's a, it's one of those things. It's like the uh, the rare bead trigger. Okay, they sent those things out. Um, I sold all of mine at a gun show, unfortunately, but prior to uh, this whole thing coming out, because I just knew down the road something was going to happen with these guys, because it's only a matter of time before the ATF goes, oh, you're you can't have that. Yeah, the letter shows an agency with an almost schizophrenic approach to classifying items. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. They're they're basically schizophrenic. They're moving as hard as they can. They're trying as hard as they can to classify things to make sure that you, this, this private citizen, law-abiding citizen, uh, can't have it. Okay, this is the interesting part. Uh, one of Matt Hoover's frequent collaborators, Richard Hughes, uh, otherwise known as Flying Rich Firearms. Hey, Flying Rich. Anyway, he's a good friend of mine also. Thinks the ATF's persecution of the men is gregorious. Greg, gre egregious. <sighs> and, yeah, I've I got a couple degrees, too. And unjust. Let's read this. And I quote, this is from Flying Rich himself. 
if I could do his voice, uh, firstly, no, the ATF's enforcement practices have been overly aggressive, often resulting in undue hardship and harm to law-abiding citizens and businesses. Uh, the agency's heavy-handed approach, including the aggressive raids, absolutely, and seizures, has been known to be disproportionate the impact innocent individuals and legitimate businesses, creating an unnecessary disruption and damage, as well as the the over the cost just the cost of doing what these guys are having to go through right now is unbelievable do you think they're going to recover any those costs i know a lot of this was uh, donated um uh, yeah and another thing is is that uh matt uh put a gofundme account together for uh erwin and they that's and they said that he was abating it at aiding and abetting furthermore the atf's inconsistent imp- interpretation of pl- application regulations and laws have co- that's a run on sentence there rich uh can cause confusion and uncertainty for firearm owners and industry members uh the lack of clear guidance and inconsistency in regulatory enforcement has resulted in unnecessary burdens legal battles and unwarranted penalties for law-abiding citizens absolutely uh, the real world effects, Mr. Irvin Hoover, are looking at lengthy prison sentences, even though it seems as the ATF employees would agree that the men did nothing wrong. This is a show. This is this is these poor guys are being put on a pedestal or on stage so that the rest of the gun loving community sees what's going on, because if they don't like what they're you're doing, they will do what they have to do to take you down. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh it's just absolutely crazy. Let me just go on with this. The great, greatest travesty is for Hoover, who never sold a single auto key card and just advertised it on his popular YouTube channel. Mr. Hoover has maintained that he spoke to his local ATF field office before taking the sponsorship, and they assured him the product was legal. All it is is a card. It has a stencil on it. That's it. No, 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 no cut up cards were found. Irwin never responded to any emails. People call him, hey, how do I cut this out? That's not the drift of it. It's a key, it's a card. All right. Uh, yeah, so um, they're in trial right now in federal court in Jacksonville. Both men maintained their innocence. Damn, yeah. So you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is absolute BS. Uh, John sent this uh, article over last night. I wanted to uh, respond to it. Thanks a lot for what you do. Please go down if you haven't subscribed to uh, John Crump's YouTube channel. He's actually one of those guys that gets out there and gets in the weeds and gets this information. So with that being said, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hand over to Don Sosa. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Y'all be good. And in the great words of the real Cobra Burnout, I'm out of here. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha.